Welcome back, royalty. So in the last week or so, my uh, social media feed on Twitter, on Instagram, on literally everything has been consumed with what happened at the Oscars. And I'm sure it's the same for y'all. And so I wanted to talk about that. I wanted us to unpack that just a little bit. And it'll be the only time I mention it because I am so sick of hearing about it and reading about it and talking about it. Uh, but this word dropped on my spirit. And so um, let's get right into it. We'll be coming from um, the book of Genesis chapter four, and it reads, like this. In the course of time, Cain brought some of the fruits of the soil as an offering to the Lord, and Abel also brought an offering, fat portions from some of the firstborn of his flock. The Lord looked with favor on Abel. The Lord looked with favor on Abel and his offering, but on Cain and his offering, he did not look with favor. So Cain was very angry and his face was downcast. Then the Lord said to Cain, why are you angry? Why is your face downcast? If you do what is right, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do what is right, sin is crouching at your door. It desires to have you, but you must rule over it. Now Cain said to his brother Abel, let's go out to the field. While they were in the field, Cain attacked his brother Abel and killed him. So it doesn't matter which side you land on, whether you agree or disagree with what Will did and why he did it. The point and the fact of the matter is, that's all we've been talking about. Like over this last week, that is all black Twitter has been talking about. That is all I've been talking about on these conference calls and in these meetings. Like it always comes up and it's so interesting because no one is talking about the fact that Will Smith won a major Oscar that night for uh, King Richard. No one's talking about the wins and the greatness that came out of that night. They're all only discussing and primarily focusing on what happened between Will and Chris. And I think it's the same way with Cain and Abel. And as I was reading the story, of course, the first question is always, well, God, why didn't you appreciate what uh, Cain gave you? Why did you prefer what Abel gave you over what Cain provided? But the second question is, is what would Cain have been remembered for had he not gone and done this thing? Had he not um, acted rashly and instantaneously out of anger instead of breathing, talking to God a little bit more? And, and really, when you think about the scripture, even in what we literally just read, God is saying, like, you will be accepted. He literally gave him a game plan, a roadmap back to the win. And Cain was like, I'm not even worried about all that. I'm still mad about this right here. And so I'm still gonna move, I'm still gonna act because I'm still mad, I'm still salty. And I think that we have a tendency to react the same way, especially when someone comes out of left field, when someone says something smart or disrespectful, we always want to react in that moment. But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you do not want to do this. And here's why. One, God tells us that he has our backs. All up and through the Bible, God is reminding us to let him handle it, to bring whatever it is that we're angry about, whatever it is that we're mad about, whoever it is that we're angry with, to give it to God and let him handle it. Vengeance will be his. That's what the Bible tells us, that's one. But two, how do you wanna be remembered? When you react in that moment, when you clap back at someone, no one's gonna remember what the person said to make you upset. No one's gonna be, especially if, especially as y'all are still in school, I know there have been instances when you've responded to someone, and because it happened to me, I mean, it happens to all of us, right? Where you responded to someone and the teacher or the professor or whomever doesn't notice what that person said. They only notice your reaction to it. And it's the same, it's gonna, it's the same way. And you don't wanna have a legacy like Kane's. You don't want to be at a major place in your life, um, in your career, wherever it is you find yourself, and have it be tainted because one person got you to get out of character. And really, that's the third thing. Do you really want this person to have that much power over you? Like, do you really want to give that person the power and the authority to take you out of your character, to cause you to go against what you know is the right thing to do, what you know God would ask of you to do in that situation? Do you want to give that person that much power? I would think not. <laughs> I would think that that's not something that you would want because at the end of the day, you know what God has called you to do. You know who you are in God. And if you don't, you need to be circling back and rewatching some of these videos and hitting me up, you know, so we can unpack that. But yes, you should know know who God has called you to be and you know who your parents have raised you to be you know who your family expects you to be you know who you are and whose you are and you ought to always act like you know that always walk and carry yourself like you're aware of who you're representing because like I've always said it's always bigger than you and so when someone is 
doing something shady, when someone is acting a fool. I'm not saying that you don't get to address it, you can address it, but don't ever give someone the power or the authority um, or the opportunity to take you out of your character because no one's gonna remember what they did to get you there. They're always gonna remember how you responded. So be careful about how you respond when you're mad. That's all that I have for you all today. Uh, tomorrow, or whenever it is that you're watching this, this is our last Sunday at our uh, location on Tech Road. And so if you're not able to join us, then I really hope to see you all at Good Friday or one of the other services um, that will be taking place at our new location in Beltsville, y'all. We're excited. Um, and that's all, y'all. Stay popping and be blessed.